Hello, let's continue our journey of designing a, an axial fan. Uh, so up to now, uh, we have defined a, a single blade design for an axial fan using uh, ANSYS tools. The next step is doing a detailed uh, realistic flow analysis. And why do we want to do this? Because we want to see, you know, if there are any regions like flow separation so that, uh, you know, we, we can eliminate them by improving our design. In this step, uh, we're going to uh, start doing some pre-processing for the CFD analysis. So we're going to go and then uh, move on to another feature, which is called Turbo Grid. Turbo Grid is a specialized uh, meshing tool, and it, the strength of it comes from generating high quality automated hex mesh. So once the turbo grid window comes up, it looks something like this. It shows our flow domain, the inlet domain, upstream of the blade, the blade domain, and then the outlet domain. So to move on with meshing, all we need to do is unsuspend the object updates so once you uncheck this it is it means the geometry is ready and I want to automatically mesh this model and again I would like to repeat this is an automated meshing system generating high quality hex elements uh, which is a rarity and uh, offers great advantages so what you can see is you know, all at the mid span, the mesh getting uh, finer and finer near the blade region, very near the walls. You, you can see the very fine mesh concentration so that the, it, it resolves the boundary layer flow. And you will notice that I have not played with any settings at this time at all. I mean, uh, so you don't have to be an expert in mesh generation to be able to use this tool. So let's see, I see a red mesh analysis error. These are most of the time warnings, but it's better to check it. And what we do see is the edge length ratio uh, is a little out of range, but it's only for about 1% of the cells. And CFX is a pretty robust tool. It's a forgiving tool with you know, so some of these mesh quality issues. Uh, so, you know, my strategy at this point will be just go forward with this mesh. And we, if we see trouble in CFX, you know, as it reads in the mesh, it, it, if there are very poor cells, it, it's going to stop and give an error, or it will cause some convergence problems later on if it passes. So we'll keep an eye out for that, but uh, chances are CFX is going to uh, live with this mesh. So in case you're a good mesher and want to improve your mesh, you have that option as well. So let's turn on the mesh data here and let's first start, you know, ch checking our mesh a bit more in detail. So I'm going to select the some components which turns in different regions the meshing so you know we, we can see overall the mesh and the periodics we can look at it at the hub level we can look at our inlet mesh but you know more so let's look around the trailing edge region see how our mesh quality is uh, if the user feels that you know maybe mesh is stretching very rapidly in the span wise direction you have numerical comp controls to have a, have a better you know or a finer mesh in, in the mid span so if I click on mesh data this is going to bring out 
more advanced controls so we can control the global mesh size uh, we can control the boundary layer uh, we have controls over the passage you know uh, the mesh resolution in the hub the shroud the inlet and the outlet after inspecting the mesh we're, we're content with the default settings so we may move forward Thank you.